Well, hi there. Welcome back to InsideTracks.co.uk. Um, for those of you who don't know us, um, uh, we run a website um, and a YouTube channel, and uh, we um, uh, look to try and pass on tips about trading Betfair and how to make money um, on different strategies, different tactics. Um, Generally, we speak about uh, back delays and scalping and uh, all the normal uh, approaches, but just occasionally I see opportunities in the market and I pass those on. And today we're going to look at um, how you can pretty much have a risk-free free trade um, uh, and make money uh, just by following um, Hugh Taylor and, and um, his, his tips. Um, so I'll just tell you a little bit about Hugh um, and uh, explain really what's behind this. So for those of you who don't know, um, Hugh Taylor is, is um, one of uh, several tipsters um, on at the races. And uh, Hugh is, has been around for some considerable time. And um, every day he posts uh, one, two, or three selections, generally around about this. This was nine seventeen and nine thirty one. So he he uh, and he generally posts um, his tips uh, beforehand. So um, uh, on 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 Twitter. So you get about um, a five minute warning. Uh, so Hugh gives a daily indication of when the column will be published by Twitter. And you just sign up to his, his user, username and follow him. And um, generally around about uh, 9 to 9.30, sometimes a bit late, sometimes a bit earlier, um, he will put up, as I say, one, two or three tips. Today he's put up two, um, uh, Rivers Lad, um, and the one that I'm interested in is uh, Universal Effect. Um, now, uh, basically, he, he tends to say, available, you know, uh, available widely at this price and so on and so forth. Um, he's saying that Rivers Lad uh, was on when he, before he posted it, at 12 to one on Bet365, um, Bet Victor and Skybet and William Hill. And uh, basically universal effect, he's saying was at uh, 15 to two on William Hill, seven to one generally and 30 to two on, on a couple of others. Now, what you see on the right hand side here is that um, his 12 to one is no longer 12 to one. You can't get 12 to one, you, you get five to one. And equally, you can't get 17 to two. Um, uh, Labbrook's uh, in bet 365. Um, know what the score is and, and they shorten the price as soon as they see the column go up. So um, it's not just the bookmakers, um, it's, it's also Betfair uh, where we see that effect. And I'm gonna show you the effect that um, uh, Hugh has and, 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 and what, what um, uh, it actually leads you down the path to. So um, I'll just pause that for a moment and we'll just show you the next uh, component um, now. So let's just have a quick look at um, uh, Universal Outcome and we'll have a quick look and see um, what uh, happened this morning uh, with with the selection? So we can see that um, this was first thing this morning. Um, someone is putting on fairly small bets, around about something like twenty pounds, ten pounds, twenty pounds. The price has gone out to to eleven point, uh, sorry, ten point eight. So that was the high up there, and around about here is when um, our friend uh, issued the um, a tip onto at the races. And you can see that actually a relatively small amount of money, 10.8, that's when it was here, to getting it right down to, um, what was the number we would have, 6.12, which is here. So actually it was only this money here. So it's 100, uh, about, 600 700 pounds so six or 700 pounds was was put on um uh only 40 or 50 pounds put on here to push it out 700 pounds pulls it back in and then since then 
is jiggered around. And um, uh, so far, uh, this was about um, 12 o'clock or so when I took this picture. Um, so three hours after, after he's uh, given the, the tip, uh, about £6,000 has been put on the horse. Um, 18,000 on the event in total. So um, when if you followed the, 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 the site, you'll know that I always look for, is the horse over um, weighted or underweighted? And how we work that out is to say, um, if you take the price and you multiply it by the amount on the selection, then that should come to, if it's evenly weighted, to the amount on the total market. Um, if it comes out to more, so eight times six is 48. So that's considerably more. Normally we would look for an overhead weighted horse to be something like, um, uh, I know five times six is 30, but um, uh, even four times six, 24 would be overweighted. We're talking about 8.4 times uh, six, which is which is 48 plus a bit. Um, so we are, have a massively overweighted horse. Of course we have. We, we've got a massively overweighted horse, but we've got all this activity from people who, who um, who are uh, Hugh Taylor fans. And um, so all this money is, is Hugh Taylor fans coming in and, and backing it down um, and keeping it down. Now, what's, what's my uh, approach to this? Well, generally speaking, when you can move a market from 10.8 to 6.12 by about 700 quid's worth of, of, of betting, then that's not a proper move. That's, that's, a, that's, an, that's, that's a move just uh, because there's no one, because all the pricing has been taken and there's not a lot of money in the marketplace. So therefore um, prices are taken, prices are taken um, with very little money needed to go onto the market. So this movement here is totally false. It shouldn't move like that. It, it should move gradually over time. And it's because we're having this in, in, in uh, injection of money from, from uh, excessive money really at the t for the time of, of the day. Um, by people who follow Hugh Taylor on 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 Twitter, so um, comes down to six point one, and this is when we get involved. This is when you and I go, "That's a ridiculous drop. Um, uh, six point one two is far too low." You know, if if people thought that ten point eight was 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 reasonable, then six point one two is definitely not reasonable. And so, what we do is we start laying this horse in this in this area here. So we start laying this horse at six, six point two, something like that, six point four maybe. And as we do so, um, what you'll see is, and this, the market is sensible because people know that this is too low. Uh, this, it, it, it doesn't come as a shock um, that it's too low. And so what you find is that um, the market then begins to uh, go back towards, not always back to, but towards the ten point eight, and currently. Um, the last price match was 8.4. Um, you've had a price matched up here, which was 8.9. So you could absolutely, without any problem, uh, at uh, he he's issued the uh, um, on Twitter his his uh, tips around about here, at 9:30 or so. By about 9:40, it's 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 gone. You'll not get it. So if you're trying to be one of those people who follow you and, um, you know, think that you can back the horse at 10.8 because you're really quick and you get into the marketplace. So you back him at 10.8. And of course, you make uh, four, four points plus um, on your money and you could actually then cash out for quite a decent profit. No, that decent profit's taken. It's taken by either Hugh himself or by his followers, but it's taken in the first I've tried it, minute, two minutes. So you've got that situation where you're not gonna make that money on that. But what you can do is you can say, this is fastly overshot where it should have gone. It's got to level itself out. So therefore we're gonna see this, this on, on, on most of the horses that he backs. Sometimes you don't, sometimes, sometimes you do see them continue to, to shorten. Most of the time, 80% uh, of the time, uh, they have to rebound because it's 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 like it's like the stock market when when there's a run on the you know there's a run on a share it it overstretches itself it 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 it, it, it sold too much people panic 
the herd there's a herd instinct and and people panic and start um selling shares don't they and 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 so the share goes whoosh down 25 percent loss in one day what's going to happen the next day it goes up because it's overshot it's overdone it so it'll always go up and you get a whole load of people um yeah it's called the dead cat bounce um if a share is really going to uh, be you know dead if it's going to um uh really not survive you know there's, there's some news that makes you know marks and spencers is going out of business then you know the stock market will if the rumors are something like marks is going out of business then the stock market will shoot down um and then there'll be it'll overshoot so there's a whole bunch of people who buy at that bottom it'll go back up and then if the rumors become more more true it'll go down again and then it come back up again and go down again and come back up again and and then suddenly actually what you find is is that the dead cat bounces when, when it doesn't come back up again and some people are still um uh, betting that it will and that's when the, the guys the guys in the in, in the know laugh because they say you know the, the guy got in on the last bounce so um uh this is this is not the same this is just overshooting the mark and it's got to come back up uh and whether that will continue to go back out to to ten point eight, we'll see, in 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 the course of the day. Um, and uh, if it doesn't, um, if it if it if it keeps going out that way, fine. You've you've made even more money. But generally speaking, what I like to do is I like to lay it around about here, nine forty or something, ten minutes after he's he's been, lay it there, and then try and take something back as soon as I I hit my objective. And my objective is generally somewhere between one and two points um, is what I'm looking for. And with one or two points, you can make uh, 10 to 15% on your money, um, uh, which is, you know, it's very, very rare that you make you make a loss of 10 to 15% on your money. If what I find is if this is going to continue to go in, um, then it will come down here and it will continue to do that. And as soon as I get to about here, half a point below that, half a point below at this this point here so if that goes down to 5.5 here uh, i'll just say okay fine i'll take the loss i'll take the five percent loss or so and and i'll move on and uh but i'll take a 15 percent gain um every other time and and so i have to have three uh losses to every 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 gain and so that's why you can make money so that's that's really it. Um, uh, that's how to to make money on on uh, Hugh Taylor's uh, um, tips. Uh, sign up to his uh, Twitter site, number one. Uh, so I'm giving good old Hugh uh, a whole load of new followers. Hopefully for him, he'll be pleased pleased about that. Um, look out for his his uh, tweets. Um, as I say, around about nine, between nine and ten o'clock, he, he he tends to to publish. And then go to uh, Betfair, watch this. Um, well, look for it. Watch it come come down. It should reach a bottom where um, then it starts to do this, or it, it can even qu quite quickly come back up. But when you see the bottom and it turns, then I would tend to lay it. So I tend I would tend to try and get in here around about six point. It says six point one two. I try try to get in here about six point four something like that. See, I'm seeing it come back up. And um, and then what I would do is I would uh, uh, wait for the one to one and a half points I'm looking for. Uh, and if I was seeing it doing a, a you know, a, you've got to judge it a little bit, but if I'm seeing it continue to go up, maybe I'll just then um, uh, uh, reduce my, my liabilities by, by trading maybe half the amount I put on and, and hoping it will continue. And then, and then just basically follow the market out, putting money uh, on so that if it does then drop again, um, I will, I will just take my profit, and and that'll be that. If it continues to go out, um, I'm making more money. So that's the way to do it. Um, Risk-free uh, money um, to be had uh, by by um, following uh, you and uh, laying his. Um, his, his tips. So if you like that, um, uh, this video, and you think it's uh, something that you want to uh, get involved with, we do do quite a, a few different things. I'll just show you what we do. 
So along with this video, we've got um, a library of about 80 videos uh, covering everything from, uh, you know, sort of uh, this, this one's quite popular, back to lay choosing the right horse. Um, that's quite important. It's got a few thousand views. Um, there's a few others that, that, that do quite well. Um, Bet for Exchange explained um, how to use Bet for Exchange scalping on Bet for um, those sorts of ones. They they seem quite popular and and um, seem to get some quite good feedback. Um, there are other opportunities, simple ones um, that uh, you may or may not know about. Um, Mark Prescott, I, I I identify as being a trainer who who gives you opportunities because of the way in which he trains his horses. Um, I got you know this overweighted, overweighted and underweighted horses, which is quite important when you're looking at scalping. So there's, there's all sorts of stuff there, um, from beginners to, um, to 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 more experienced. So that's one of the things we do. Um, the other is is that we um, we do a, a a newsletter, free to sign up to uh, on the website insidetracks.co.uk. Um, so you can sign up to the newsletter. Here we give you. Uh, hints and tips, uh, naps and things, uh, back to lays, place values. Um, and we go through, um, you know, sort of, um, uh, today we're doing Wolverhampton, give you a view on each race. And, and um, I tend to be able to identify horses because I watch most of the racing so I can identify a few um, things that might have a better chance than, than perhaps the betting would, would, would imply. So the newsletter is free and you can sign up to that on, on, on the website, which is here. So you, if you come to it, you subscribe um, in here, just enter your email and you can go on to, onto the MailChimp uh, uh, mailing list and you'll get um, the newsletter when, when I publish it. Generally, I do it most days. Sometimes I don't, I don't, I don't um, get paid for doing this. So um, it's, it's, all, it's all pretty much free at the moment. Um, so yeah, you can get all that, um, uh, and and uh, hopefully you'll pick up hints and tips, and 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 you'll start seeing uh, a way in which you can can make money. And and all that trading is about is identifying situations that repeat themselves, and um, and trading on that that information. So I've just given you one. Generally speaking, when he gives his tips, uh, Hugh Taylor's tips the price falls too fast and too far on small money and you can benefit by laying it off at the, those 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 smaller prices and and um then um backing the horse at a higher price and and making between 15 and 25 percent on your money depending on what your strategy is and what your exit uh, strategy is good well um uh, like if you do comment if you want um always open to any comments um, and uh, share if you if you if you want to to to, to friends and um, I'd be happy if you did that. Okay, take care. Bye.